Hello everyone, welcome back to Humble Acres. My name is Jordan. Today we're not actually at my house, we're at my grandmother's house again. So if you can tell what this is, this is the loader off of my John Deere Model A. So when we came and picked that up, I'll put that link to the video right here where we picked the John Deere up. This loader was on it and the reason we took it off was because my uncle wanted it but it's been sitting here ever since we took it off. I don't even remember how many years it's been now, but it's been a while and he decided that he doesn't want it anymore. So my grandma is giving it to me. So now I'm here to pick it up. So my goal is to just get it and pull it onto the trailer with my winch. So hopefully it should be able to do that and we will see. But all the accessories for it to mount it are still in here. I left all of them here and yeah it should be good the only problem there is with it is the cylinders got left all the way out and you can see that they're kind of rusty now so i don't know how good these cylinders were before but they're probably not any good now so they may need a rebuild or something but you can see here it's a model john deere model 45 and series one made in usa so that's what it is, just a trip bucket, but it's in really good shape otherwise, so she was going to just let somebody scrap it, and I couldn't stand to have it just scrapped, so we're going to take it home. So let's get to trying to get it on the trailer. I forgot all of my chains. <laughs> Alright. Well, locked together good. <laughs> I don't know if I should be able to go underneath it. It's kind of How are you going to go under? Yeah, I know. I wanted to try to like lift it up, but Oh, we can go get a pry bar out of the garage. Yeah, that might work. You want me to here, just stick it right over here. Pull it. I have it hooked there already. I should just be able to pull it under. Yeah, hold on, let me get back further. Can you get under there now? There yep. It's under. Uh, I just want to get it towards okay. the center more. There we go. Don't stress yourself out. Shut that there for now. We might need it again. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing how these things usually go. It's about an inch short. <laughs> Don't worry about hurting that chain. You gotta hook it to the other side. Go like this and put it around here. You ain't gonna hurt that chain. Not gonna lie, I wasn't really worried about hurting it. <laughs> Alright, that should work. Let's uh, hook the winch up to the battery and see if we can get this pulled up there. Maybe we'll be lucky and it'll just go smoothly. Unlike the uh, Model A, that was a nightmare to try to get on the trailer, but this should go better. <laughs> Pounds. There's no way that's more than 3,000 pounds. I just I want to take this weight off of here. It's definitely not helping anything. Oh, 
Once you get her on that metal, it ought to go pretty good. You'd think. <laughs> the ramp. Oh yeah, that's what's doing it. Do we have a board we could put under there? Got a screwdriver or something you can twist that? Look above it now. think this like has a bad gear in it or something it seems like it's just the chain's loose or something well this came undone yeah it's like it's got a strip gear in there yeah I think there's a gear stripped out in this winch already that's ridiculous what junk that would happen <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's, that, that, the winch is brand new. Well, I have a uh, chain hoist as a backup. Nothing can ever go easy. No. Nope. All right, so you can kind of tell from pulling this, this winch was brand new. I used it to pull that old FJ on here, and that's pretty much it. And there's a stripped gear in there now. <laughs> it gets to a certain point of winding this cable up, and it just slips. Here, I can show you. Press the in, and it just slips. I don't get that. Don't buy these winches, they're garbage. Well, what we have going on now is, he got his uh, little tractor here, and we're gonna try to just hook up to that and just pull it on that way. That'll save us a lot of time and a lot of manual labor, so hopefully that'll work. We'll see. but it caught on this board and shoved it right in the ear. Probably fine now. It was just that that caught it. I guess just try to keep going, I guess. I don't know what else to do. We've come this far now. You might as well just keep going. Just don't let that chain like hit the side of the floor or the bar or something.
probably just keep this right here. Huh? I can probably just keep this right here so it won't go off. I use this to put an entire vehicle on here once. Alright, we got it on here. It should be on here far enough to get most of the weight forward anyway. Just need to strap it down and get it home. We'll be good to go. Well, we got it home. Uh, it's probably just gonna sit here for a while because for one, the John Deere isn't running right now. And I honestly just don't really have a use for this loader because I have my other tractor. I just really felt bad about it getting scrapped and I just didn't really want to see that happen. So it's here. I know it fits on my tractor. The cylinders are probably bad, but I, I don't know. Not sure really what this video is, but we're gonna call it saving the front end loader. So, I don't know, maybe we will do something with it eventually, but for now, it's gonna be sitting here. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video of picking this up. I know you guys really like the John Deere, so I try to include pretty much anything I do with it. So I figured this kind of includes that, but thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.